ITX systems typically have the reputation of being hard to build in, expensive and loud. But I wanted to prove that wrong. So here's what I built, starting with the case. The Cooler Master NR200 is cheap, well designed, and you can fit in anything you could possibly want. Now it's not the smallest ITX case you can get. A Dan A4H2O looks a lot smaller than this, but it's a lot smaller than a micro ATX system or anything bigger than that, like the Define Mini C. And of course, it's a lot bigger than Intel NUC, which is something I normally cover on this channel. For the CPU, I picked up this used Ryzen 5 3600, which only cost me £50, and for that price you even get bundled a CPU cooler, which is fine, but I wanted something quieter, so I picked up this Thermalright Peerless Assassin. And these things are incredibly cheap at the moment, I picked this one up for £32 on Amazon. And just look how much bigger it is than the stock one. This thing trades blows with Noctua's at four times the price. So pick this thing up now while it's cheap. For storage, I went with the Crucial P3 Plus 500GB, which is only £29 at the moment. And for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte B450i Aorus, because I already have one. But you can get the equivalent B550 for about £180 on Amazon. For RAM, I went with a 16GB kit of Vengeance LPX, which for games is all you need. As far as power supplies go, you can't go wrong with EVGA. And this 650 watt model should be more than enough to handle this 3070 that we're putting in. Which, thanks to the mining crash, there's loads and loads on eBay floating around, which I've seen as low as £270. So let's put it all together. So how does it do in games? Well, this thing plays everything. Absolutely everything, even up to 4K. In all the games I tested, I couldn't get below 60. In terms of average frame rates, every game I tested at 1080p was over 144. But looking at the averages, that's only part of the story. We need to look at the 1% lows. Even here, we can see at the lowest 1% of frame rates, we're nearly at 60 all the time. This system punches way above its weight in terms of price. I managed to build this entire system for under 800 pounds, but your prices may vary by region. And if you want to build it for yourself, I'll have all the parts listed out in the description. Even just clicking the link, it really helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.